Hey everybody, what is up, and welcome to another movie review with the MK Ninja. Sorry I haven't done a movie review in a while, because I haven't really seen any movies lately. Uh, well, I, I did see The Mechanic. Um, that was enjoyably bad uh, with Jason Statham. That was pretty bad. But it was fun, I guess. So Anyway, I saw Kubo, finally, like I've wanted to for a while. And uh, I decided, you know what? This movie needs to be known more, because Studio Like is amazing. So I'm going to do a late review, which I usually don't do, but I'm doing one now. So I got my notes, and let's get started with, um, first of all, the animation. Beautiful, spectacular. It definitely shows all the time and care and effort that went into this. It blends the this, this CG and the stop motion very well. The models all look fantastic. The animation is very smooth, and sometimes I couldn't even tell that it was stop motion. It was just really breathtaking. The water effects looked very nice. The fighting like the action scenes. This is something that normally isn't done in stop motion. It's like the very first time something like this is done in stop motion to this level, at least. They might have been fighting before, like big fighting, but nothing like this epic fantasy level. And it was really fantastic. It really paid off. Such beautiful, gorgeous animation. And I'd recommend the movie, almost watching the movie like on mute, just to watch the beautiful animation because it is beautiful, amazing. But... Luckily, the man animation isn't the only good part of this movie. The characters are also, thankfully, very enjoyable. Kubo is uh, a very strong child character. He's a really good lead protagonist. I really liked him. I liked how he could show, like, you know, the childhood side of him. He still acted like a kid. He wasn't all super mature and adult and such like that. Sometimes you might see a child character like that. He was very much a child, but he was still a strong child character who made mistakes, but, like, he was... He was brave and determined and kind hearted. Really great storyteller too. And he was also really he was just really great. And the Beetle and Monkey were also very great characters. Beetle was very um just kinda like jokey, nonchalant, uh, the cool kind of character. And Monkey was the very serious, down to earth, um, always thinking about, you know, like the right thing to do character. So they're kinda like opposites in a way, but their dynamic was very interesting and funny. And uh, there's a secret to them that you'll find out later on. So just make look forward to that. But uh, the characters, really great. I really enjoyed them. The story was also very interesting. Like the, the lore and the thought put in all this and the way, like, I, I really enjoy stories and movies where, like, they go to different areas on an adventure to find different things, and there's lots of different monsters and stuff like that. I really like those kind of movies. Those are usually uh, pretty interesting because of all the effects and, like, the visuals you can see. And they look really nice here, and the story is very... The story is definitely... Uh, has a lot of thought put into it. And the lore behind it, like, there's, there's hints of lore in an actual world in this movie. Like, a world that seems like if it was built up, like, in maybe another movie, it would be fantastic and, like, be up there with one of the best fantasy worlds ever, at least in my opinion. Because I thought it was, I thought it was very interesting, a lot of very interesting stories and such like that. Like, like, mythos inside the mythos, which is something that fantasy stories usually should do. And, and this one does, and it's, it really pays off because it, it helps it make it more enthralling. And um, I, I, my, my opinion, like I just, they did it again. This, I'm not sure if this is my favorite movie by them. Either this one or, actually, I'm really tied between Coraline and Paranorman. You know, I'm tied between all of them, cause they're, except Fox Trolls, which was, it was all right. But like Paranorman, Coraline, and now Kubo are all three fantastic movies that you need to see. And this is one of the best movies that I've seen this year, aside from, like, maybe Deadpool or The Nice Guys. And uh, just almost everything about this movie was fantastic. The only thing that kind of bothered me a little bit is how they uh, reuse the whole thing. that It's a story. Like, they... they I, I know Kubo is a storyteller, but they use the word story a bit too often. It was a little buggy, but that's... If that's really the only issue I have in the movie, then that's saying something. Because this movie is fantastic. And I'm going to give this movie, Kubo and the Two Strings, a 9.5 out of 10. See this movie or get it on DVD when it comes out because it is definitely worth seeing. It is a it is a kids movie that can be watched and enjoyed by adults. It's all it's an all age movie, and it's not like super mature or anything like that. Like with like oh one swear word or something like that. No, it's like it's it's a beautiful movie and you should see it. It's one of those it's one of those like family movies that's definitely worth checking out. So yeah. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out my other videos. Also, make sure to check out my supporters, all their great stuff. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.